Hello, this is Christelle Martinet with another weekly reading. Starting the 29th, Monday is the 29th of June, and we have come out of our, well, we've come to the end of June, actually. And this was the wonderful reading last week. This We're experiencing the tail end of this lovely week, and um, I, for one, have had a great week. I hope everyone else has. And... Um, here I have with me a few of the gifts some subscribers have sent to me. I'm wearing this lovely bracelet that a daughter of a subscriber, I hope she's watching, and also a lovely rose that a subscriber, well, an admirer maybe, and rose quartz, and lots of other things that are all around that I don't want to spend time talking about. but. Um, this week I'm going to be uh, laying a diamond spread like I have in the past weeks and then again using the, the Vera Sibilla and the Neapolitan cards. Um, we've gone through the solstice and we've gone through this interesting week a little lighter from the past. Let's see what is in store for us for next week. Silence is golden at this stage right now when I open. Well, okay, now um, let me tell you what I have here. I have the, this is the page of wands at the top. And on either side I have the Queen of Swords, the Lover's Card, the World Card, see that. In the middle there is this eight of pentacles, the eight of coins, so aptly represented as a spider with a web. And over to the right is the three of swords. Underneath I have the last three cards, oops, the last three cards are the four of cups, Look at this lovely strength card. And the last is the two of pentacles. Look at that next to the next to the strength card. You can see there's an element that's common to both. The infinity, the infinity sign. Okay, now, symbol of infinity. Alright, now. There is an element that's common to all of the cards, and that is the spider web in the middle, the Eight of Pentacles. Um, that is job. This is work. It's slow developing work, going outward. And all around this Eight of Pentacles, there is um, on the right side, which for me would be um, represented, uh, representing the future are the Lover's card and the Strength, one on top of another, then the Three of um, Swords. So, um, Strength in love through uh, pain. You know, there's pain that is being um, experienced to get to the... There's pain in the form of, say, you're not able to see each other, um, that you would like to be together, but you are not. Uh, the communication is good. You're... Um, you enjoy each other, but perhaps either there's a distance there or uh, perhaps there is something that keeps you apart, but the communication is good, the spirituality good, you are it together in spirit. Now, let's say in the immediate past, but not even the past, because what I'm seeing here and what I feel is the Page of Swords Queen of Swords and the world. This is it's Page of Wands, sorry, at the top. Page of Wands, Queen of Swords and the world. 
This is action moving in the direction of bringing something out into the open. You're expressing yourself, you're expressing things, dark secrets that people may not, um, well people, even your, your partners, your companions may not know about you, your friends, you yourself are admitting to yourself things. Um, and it's going to be a lovely experience, it's just going to be a fantastic experience with this world. You're bringing out things, sides to yourself, you're admitting to yourself many different things. You're seeing them and talking about them and admitting you know, uh, them to yourselves. It's an interesting, lovely emergence of, uh, of the self. Okay, this is exceptional this week. Now, the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups in, is, again, one of those cards that tarot readers don't generally agree on. Um, but in all in all, it's a moment that has to do with emotions that seems to be troublesome. Old problems seem to come back. Um, the old habits have been emerging again. You're seeing things that have been um, that you have experienced in the past come up again. Right? That, that together with the three of swords are the only two cards that may give some cause for concern. But then you have this lovely pair, look at that, look at that, transformation, strength in, um, in revealing your emotions, transformation, um, change, it's exceptionally, exceptionally light, it's exceptionally light, exceptionally uh, caring, it's exceptionally emotional, there will be a, a lot of emotional tears of joy this week. Um, now, the center, the Page of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles, is proof that you have brought yourself to a point where you're feeling yourself grow, actually. You're feeling yourself slightly, not changing, because all in all, this is yourself. This is how you are but perhaps things you have hidden and uh, qualities that have been lost or put aside, you're bringing them up and saying, oh yeah, I'm not that bad, you know. Boy, what, I used to do this, why can't I do this anymore? You know, and you're starting to get to like yourself again, right? Now, there's also an area of the spread, whereas the um, Page of Wands, the Lover's Card and the Heartache, this Three of Swords, that linked to this, linked to the fact um, of, of you getting to know yourself more, um, you seeing sides that were old sides to yourself and looking at them in a different way, as if you take them, put them out there, and you see them in a different way. It may even make you laugh at times, but there is a little heartache there, and it has to do here with, um, with the love and emotions and partnerships for those of you who have dealings on your job or have partnerships. Um, there has been you, things come to light and emerge again that you remember have gone down in the past and so you might want to um, think about that. Let me take the Vera Sibila precisely on this, um, on this three of swords. See if we can get a little bit of, of uh, information about that. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, la la, la 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 Skeletons in the closet seem to come out. Old skeletons in the closet where you talk about um, other people you have who have stepped into your partnership, uh, another man or another woman that you have seen and uh, which destabilized the relationship a bit. Okay, this is the female enemy, could be a male. And this is showing signs of um, instability. And that was hidden and that was hidden, or 
that they did emerge, but they were never fully brought out. And um, it probably with this page of wands, it is saying that um, you're feeling like you're in a position of wanting to come. You feel the need to communicate that. You need to clear the air. Um, you need to clear the air. It's actually the, um, the, the, the job of the Queen of Swords commanding um, the air to be cleared and you're feeling that, you're feeling that you have to do it. And so that's coming up. Let me take the Neapolitan cards on that. My God, I feel so protected. Um, I was recently abroad and I, ha I bought all these lovely gems, just lovely, I can't keep you can't keep your eyes off of them. <laughs> Just so protected, you feel. So protected. Um, let's see what... Wow, another another Three of Swords came out. This is interesting. Another Three of Swords, but also the Three of Wands and the Two of Swords. Now, um, what this tells me is, yes, of course, this reinforces the fact that that will cause heart heartache, mm, literally. Um, and metaphorically and but the three of wands in this deck is such a strong card of union a strong bond that um, that tells us what emerges and what you need to clear the air with and what you do explain initially will create a bit of um, misunderstanding a bit of uh, um, perhaps withdrawal from the person you're telling but it all in all will create an extremely strong bond in the long run. So bear that in mind and feel free to express yourself. Um, the, the relationship will come out discussing even more other things. Um, I'm going to go now to the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is between the world and the two, the lovely two of Pentacles change. And um, maybe some of you will be traveling and during that trip during that trip you'll notice that quite a few things will be changing this week for those of you who travel quite a few things related to emotions related to people in your life unexpected unexpected things as well Well, on the Four of Cups, the Four of Cups here, um, this is an interesting trio. Um, the prisoner, the literato, thinking, the man in the library, and the intimacy card, the imeneo. Um, the Four of Cups, with regard to the week, and with regard to something changing and coming up, perhaps when you're on a trip or uh, some, some of you will be traveling and some of you may be um, at the same time, if not traveling, thinking of going about bringing yourself toward, a, toward that intimacy actually going toward walking, actually walking, moving toward the intimacy in various steps, in various ways, um, sending messages, talking, uh, dropping hints more or less. Um, this prisoner is telling me that since it is in a past position for me here, it could be that this is new, this n is a new communication. Or for many of you it means that it is only purely in the mind, it's still in uh, the infancy sa stage, in the embryonic stage, but it has to do with intimacy. Now, when I say intimacy, I don't see, mean just the emotional side. I mean actually intimacy, going and telling your secrets, going and, and um, telling people about yourself and your darkest secrets and why and why it didn't and it happen. And, and perhaps it could, you know, really lowering the voice and talking seriously about yourself and it is a secret uh, revealed. Okay. Um, let's see with the Neapolitan cards. Yes, uh, right on. This is an excellent week for that. 
And if it is in your mind, try to get it out and not keep it just on your mind. Uh, what do we have here? We have the Holy Grail, the Ace of Cups. So let's say that you'll be rewarded a thousandfold if you do, if you're able to, to hit home and, and touch the heart with that, with your secrets. And the Six of uh, Wands. The Six of Wands is a uh, card here too in this deck, is a sort of weak card. It has to, it feeds off the cards next to it. And here we have the Four of, um, of uh, Wands, which is an, a victorious card, is, is halfway between the victory and the troublesome. It's a card which it, it talks of actions needing needed to be taken for them to be victorious and flanked by the six of wands in this position near the ace of cups it's telling me that the odds are excellent the odds are excellent for uh, creating a firm foundation and for your action right remember that the wands are um, fire their, their, their action their movement so uh, this is giving us counsel, right? It's when you go to a card reader and you ask for suggestions, you, you ask, many of you ask, um, well, what should I do if I do this? Would this happen? You're asking for tangible evidence or, or feelings, guidance, let's say, in terms of what you should or should not do. This counts, these cards are counseling us here um, in the manner of how to go about expressing yourself and t chances that you need to take or can take or are questioning whether you should take. They're telling you that the risk is fairly, fairly protected. And of course, the um, Ace of Cups says it all in this deck. You couldn't get a better card for that. Now, one more card I'd like to um, illuminate, and that is the this uh, lovely spider web with the eight pentacles creating something creating a firm foundation spiritual and material foundation long time creating it has been long time creating been creating being created all right now um all right there's the hope card speranza the conversation and the despair uh, hope card hope card conversation and despair now it's, it's quite easy for a card reader to say, well, this, rep this card represents your hopes. All right, no, that, it's not as, as easy as that. Because when you, uh, when you see the dignities, we call them dignities, when the cards are flanked one, by an, uh, uh, one next to the other, they take on different meanings. And um, in this trio, highlighting the Eight of Pentacles, um, it, it talks about communication. Now, when this card of conversation comes out, um, there are many other cards in the deck that have to do with communication, uh, written messages, text messages, hidden messages, and this is the message, this is the card that generally does mean talk, right? This is conversation. Now, flanked by these two cards, despair and hope, Again, we're in the neighborhood of the wanting, should I, how can I, will I, and what will happen if I do say that. Um, now, these are, as I said, illuminating the Eight of Pentacles, and that is a preparation. The Eight of Pentacles is laying the ground, is building something for future. Um, you need to take into consideration that we have on our side both the world and the Ace of Cups, the Ace of, of Wands too, the Lover's Card, the Strength Card, my God. Um, there, there is just a week here with, uh, yes, a little pain, because pain is inevitable when you look back at what you've done that you don't care about and what you are maybe embarrassed about a little. Um, and you're wondering when <laughs> this is a, these three cards are telling me um, that you're thinking about when in what at what stage of this preparation shall I talk about all those difficult things to admit to to um, describe to to clarify 
to define, to, to compare one to the other. When should I do that? Um, and taking stock of the fact and understanding and admitting to yourself that it is painful for you to do that. Um, let me take the Neapolitans on these three. Um, and see how, what their take on the counseling here is all about. One, two, three. Well, 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 ah, uh, well, ah, uh, well, ah, uh, well, ah. Uh. We have, um, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, ladies and gentlemen, the Ace of Pentacles. We've got the three, the three, the three of cups, and we got the four of swords now um, this is telling us that they're suggesting all right they're suggesting that this is a very good week for throwing yourself at the mercy of risk and lay all your cards on the table risk that last penny because there will be a bond, a stronger bond with the people around you, with the person involved, with the persons involved, with the uh, work colleagues that are involved. Anything that you are uh, about to venture into, throw yourself in the fray and then take time. Take time because that will be an extremely strong um, action to do, an extremely important venture. But ladies, Gentlemen, please just look at these cards. Just look at these cards. Just look at them. They are wonderful. Wonderful. All of them. All of them. Okay. All right. We've got two of pentacles, ace of wands, the two of lovers there, the lovers cards, the world, the, uh, the holy grail, and the card that says you couldn't have anything more I will leave it at that and the strength card the lion with the rose in its mouth and the infinity sign so I hope you enjoyed this reading it was a pleasure for me to read with you I was missing you I was missing you Namaste, ladies and gentlemen, and I do appreciate all of your likes, shares. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe, like, share, and keep those comments coming in. Bye-bye. Arrivederci. Au revoir.